Welcome everybody, Christian and Keith with Austin Movie Gear, and this is our first movie minute, Ronin S and the GH5S. All of the gimbals basically balance the same way. You've got two tilt balances, which we'll show you, and then you do one balance for roll, and then you do one balance for the hand gimbal. The Ronin S is like the newest version. It's taking this handheld gimbal thing a little bit further than anybody else. And we'll start with trying to do a little tilt balance which would be this way, forward and back. The nice thing about the Ronin S is that it can handle a lot more weight. It can handle up to eight pounds. So yeah, now we're balanced front and back. And now uh, we want to balance left and right, which is for the roll. Okay, so oh, nice. we, we have the roll balanced for. Now Now we'll do our, our second tilt, which is when we want to balance the, dis the weight from the top to the bottom across the gimbal. And the way we do that is by pointing it up and seeing which side is heavier, which the bottom's a lot heavier here, we can see. And looks like we're good. My last balancing is to balance between front and back for the pan gimbal. Slide this back. And now we're good. Now it's pretty much even. So now we can turn it on. We can now turn on our app and we'll auto tune it here. Please confirm. And it'll vibrate it around a little bit and it'll there's a there's a nice feature where we can do a balance test. Skynet takes over for a moment, it goes around, and it, eventually it stops, and then it will tell you how well it thinks that you've balanced. Tilt excellent, roll excellent, pan excellent. So it's very happy with my balancing. Now the, the one thing that is different about this particular handheld gimbal compared to others, it's more like the other Ronins in that it's got features that you can adjust using the app. You can set the motor parameters, you can set how fast it will pan, or tilt, or roll. Uh, you can turn off the roll, you can, you can uh, do different configurations, and you can store those configurations so you have three different profiles that you can use. Another really great feature that the Ronin S has is this little knob right here. It allows you to control focus on certain cameras, such as our JH5S here. And what we'll do is attach this cable, which goes in this little spot here, and into the camera into the USB-C port. It will recognize that it's hooked up to a, another device and what you want is a tether mode. Now that I'm in the tether mode, I can actually control the focus using this knob right here when I turn this knob down here. So it's a very convenient way to control focus. And those are the basics of our Ronin S. So Absolutely. if you'd like to find out more, if you want to experiment, uh, give us a call, come on by, and we'll be glad to spend a little time with you with it.